Hi, another video from Fast Tech. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix your PS4 if it has this error message. Um, it's basically going to tell you that it can't access system storage and you're going to get the error code CE34335-8 and this problem is caused due to a defective hard drive. Uh, so what happens is when the PlayStation 4 can't read the hard drive it doesn't start because a lot of the critical operating system files are located on the hard drive. So it does not boot and won't start till the hard drive is replaced with a working one. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix that today on your PS4. I'm also going to be adding links in the description for uh, har the hard drives for these PlayStation 4 units. Uh, we sell them on our website uh, and we have them in stock for PlayStation 4 Original, PlayStation 4 Slim and PS4 Pros. And I'm also going to be adding uh, the link for the update file that you're going to need um, after you've replaced the hard drive. Okay, so we have a PlayStation 4 original here. Uh, these ones were manufactured between 2013 uh, all the way to the end of 2015. Uh, and to get to the hard drive, it's very simple. We're just going to remove this side of the case. We do that by just pulling it and it just, it just comes off like so. Once you've done that, there's this Phillips screw here that we're going to remove. And then we're just going to pull the hard drive out. And it just comes out. Once the hard drive is out, we're, we're going to remove these four screws that hold it in place. And put our new hard drive in. Once we install the screws, we just slide the hard drive in and install the Phillips screw back on. And then we reinstall the case cover. And that's that easy. Uh, it's very simple. Now we're going to install the software onto the console and I'm showing you how to do that in the next step. Once uh, we've installed the hard drive, we're going to plug the console in. And we're going to uh, plug it in on our TV, turn it on, and then it's going to take us to this screen, which it's going to show in a few seconds, where it's going to ask us to install the, the system software update. It's going to say it can't start, and it's going to require a system software update. Uh, and I'm going to be adding the instructions on, in, the, in the video description. Put a link to Sony's website where you can download the update and put it on a USB stick. You're going to download the update, put it on a USB stick, plug it in the console, and make sure your controller is plugged in with a USB cable. Then you're going to press the PS button, this button right here, and then it's going to take you to this screen. And it's going to say connect the USB storage device. Well, yeah, you're going to put the, um, put the files on a USB stick, and then you're going to press OK. You're going to plug the USB stick in, in your PS4, press OK and then it's going to start uh, looking for the update. Um, and then we're basically just gonna press yes. It's gonna install the update. The console's gonna restart and you're basically done. Um, so I'm just gonna show you guys the next screen and then it's gonna start the uh, initialization process. Uh, and then we're pretty much done at that point. And then after that, all we have to do is play the console. Um, and in my case, I'm returning it to the customer. 
There you go. Okay, so now it's gonna say PS4 will be initialized, da da da, all data will be deleted. There's nothing on this hard drive anyway, so we're just gonna press yes. And now it's initializing. It's gonna do this and it's gonna restart. And then it's gonna take you to another screen where it's gonna install the software. Um, and basically that's all there's to it. It's gonna restart and uh, the rest of it's gonna be done by the PlayStation 4. You don't have to worry uh, about anything. It's just, you just have to press yes. Uh, I think you might have to press yes one more time. So uh, th there you have it guys, another video from Fast Tech. Um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and uh, share the video if you like it. So it did the update and uh, now it looks like it's ready. Uh, now we basically just have to set it up. Um, English, United States. Next it's gonna ask you to set up your Wi-Fi. And once you've done all that, um, you should be good to go. Uh, we're not going to set up the Wi-Fi right now. Set up later. Skip. Um, U.S. Canada. Next. 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 It asks you so many questions. It's like, guys, I just want to play my freaking game. I'm not interested in all this. But here, there it is. So... Looks like it works. We have a new hard drive in it. Uh, again, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Helps us out a lot. Thank you.